Hey, and welcome back to another video. The iPad Air 2 is a device released in 2014 and is a prime example of Apple's unparalleled software support. Initially shipping with iOS 8.1 and now, in 2020, finally being updated to iPad OS 14. A total of 7 supported major OSs, beating out the iPad 2 which supported 6 major releases. And in this video, we will be taking a look at what the iPad Air 2 is like while running iOS 14. But first, don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel and if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also hit that bell notification button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm on Instagram, Discord and Twitter and you can find me on those using the links down in the description below. I post teasers and behind the scenes and many other things that I usually don't post on YouTube to those. So, now let's jump right into this video. So firstly, let's discuss speed, which I believe is what everyone is worried about before updating to iPadOS 14. How does a 6-year-old device hold up with its 7th supported OS, you ask? Well, surprisingly good actually. The device is fluid and barely has any stutter at all. There's some lag when opening heavier applications, but the overall experience is just fine. As you can see in this demonstration, most apps open decently fast and I'm able to navigate the interface with little or no stutter at all. Multitasking works flawlessly and split-screen multitasking honestly feels better than when it was on iPadOS 13. Overall, I do feel like there are some places where the iPad Air 2 has actually sped up after upgrading to iPadOS 14. Gaming on the iPad Air 2 on iPadOS 14 isn't much different from how it was on iPadOS 13. Games open decently fast and run just fine, just as they did on iPadOS 13, if not even slightly just better. PUBG, Fortnite and other graphic intensive games run just fine on this iPad and have little or no stutter at all. All this is possible thanks to its A8X processor, which is Apple's only ever triple core mobile processor in its A-series lineup up to this day. This processor holds up well today and is supported by 2 gigs of RAM and Apple's amazing optimization. Now onto the software experience itself. As this is an older iPad, it does lack some iPadOS 14 features, such as the new augmented reality support and all the new Apple Pencil features such as Scribble, as this iPad does not support an Apple Pencil. First let's talk about widgets. Unlike iOS 14, iPadOS 14 would not allow you to bring the widgets onto your main home screens and are only restricted to the widget home screen on the far left side of the home screens. Apart from that, the functionality of the widgets and their features are almost identical to those on iOS 14. However, in the future with upcoming iPadOS 14 patches, we probably would be able to add widgets to the home screen, but as of now we just can't. iPadOS 14 does lack another feature that iOS 14 has and that is the app library. This may be due to the fact that iPads have bigger displays and don't really need one to reduce clutter, but it still would be nice to have that feature as well. Browsing on Safari on iPadOS 14 is now also improved with boosts in speed and upgrades to inbuilt security features, such as an all-new website privacy report tool that lets you know about cookie tracking and other details about websites you visited. It also has web page translation and password monitoring. The speed boost helps a lot as you can see, browsing is seamless and just as fun as it was on iPadOS 13. Many apps have also been redesigned and reworked, like the Notes app which now looks a bit more professional than before. The smaller improvements such as Compact Calls, the Home app, redesigned apps and drop-down menus, toolbars and sidebars, the new redesigned Search, improved messaging with pinned conversations, mentions and inline replies, 
and the new redesigned Siri are some of the features that the Air 2 does support and all of these features can be looked into in detail on Apple's website as there's just too many to list here. And speaking of Siri, Siri has also been drastically improved with iPadOS 14. The new compact Siri has built-in language translation and is smarter than ever before. Hey Siri, how do I say thank you in German? In German, thank you is... Danke. Hey Siri, how do I say you're welcome in Japanese? In Japanese, you're welcome is... Yoritashimashite. Hey Siri, how do I say goodbye in Russian? In Russian, goodbye is... Usidanya. Hey Siri, what's the weather like in Adelaide? This next point may be just something that I noticed but the fingerprint scanner on the iPad Air 2 has improved with iPadOS 14. It's slightly faster and it's a bit more accurate. I suggest redoing your fingerprint setup after updating for optimum results. Battery life has also seen a slight increase with iPadOS 14 on the iPad Air 2. I felt like I was getting about half an hour extra on mixed use after the update. This however is not a good estimate as my iPad is old and so is its battery. However, this could be true as iPadOS 14 is overall more efficient than iPadOS 13. So finally that's it for this video and I hoped it helped you with your updating decision to iPadOS 14. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel and if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.